Steve, how fun is it for you to see the fans and come to these things? It, it is fun. I mean, uh, these are the people that uh, were at the games cheering and, and uh, really made the game what it is today. Uh, so it's fun to come out and hear the stories uh, that they recount of when they saw you play in Chicago or wherever. Uh, so it brings back a lot of good memories, too. Any good stories? Uh, there's always some good stories that have been, uh, some of them totally fabricated, and if not fabricated totally, then stretched beyond all imagination. Do you still follow the sport? I, I, I do. I'm an avid, I'm an avid fan. Uh, I love to watch him play. Uh, I'm becoming a Redskin fan now that I live in Washington, and my best friend Jim Zorn's the head coach. Can you give us a legendary tale of when you played? A legendary tale. Uh, well, I, I think I think maybe one of the best games we played as a franchise for the first 14 years we were in the league was a game we played against uh, Miami in the playoffs. Uh, they had the best record in the AFC that year, and we were the wild card team. We actually went down to Miami. Uh, that's when Marino was throwing touchdown passes to Mark Duper and Mark Clayton left and right, and uh, we actually upset them. And it was probably the biggest win until recent times uh, that the Seahawks have ever played. What do you think of the game now and the young players? Well, I, I love the game now more than ever because they're throwing the ball a lot. And I love to see the receivers out there catching and quarterbacks throwing. And uh, I think I think that the tempo of the game is a lot, a lot different and a lot better uh, from a fan's perspective, for sure. Uh, you know, there's there's some negative aspects of the game today uh, that weren't around when I played, but uh, the positive aspects I think outweigh it all. Thank you so much for joining you us. You bet. Thank you.